Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the Throwing Shade series and also the kind of finale. It's kind of going on hiatus for a little bit of a while. It's kind of going on hiatus for a little bit. I'm not in charge of the project so I'm not entirely sure why it's going on hiatus but I've been told it's going on hiatus. Should have gone on hiatus last month but I didn't get the memo so here we are and now we'll do the finale type thing. So I'll go through the shadows that I picked last time and insert the photos of what I used and then we'll sort of go over a conclusion kind of thing I think. Never really done one of these so if it's an absolute mess I'm sorry. So the first thing that I had was a alcohol themed eyeshadow. So I took the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette and I picked this shade here which is Rum Raisin which is a cool toned dark brown shimmer shade and I did use this all over the lid and that's what it looks like there and I also had the one next to it which I think was for a dessert I should have really got the thing it's here yes it was a dessert and this is a warmer toned brown color I'll keep the photo up there because I use these together so I would use the warmer one in my crease and this one all over the lid and then a darker one which I actually used from here as well I used the cocoa chili which is a really dark brown with pink glitter pink with gold glitter in it. I'll swatch that for you as well, even though it wasn't a part of this. But I really enjoyed using the, it's the top one there. I really enjoyed using these three shadows together. And I know that kind of looks like they're all the same color, but I did manage to get a distinction between the three on my lids, on my eyes. So really happy with the way those turned out. And then I had in this one, which is the Bon Bon palette, I had a food item and I believe I went for this one here, Cashew Chew, which is basically the same colour as my skin tone. So I used this as my transition for any eyeshadows that I did for the whole month of November, uh, December, sorry, which wasn't a lot to be honest because I was busy and then I was sick, but I did, um, I was still going to work so I did still use that and as you can see. Or well, you can't see. There we, you can kind of see it like that. Just a dark line across the top there. So, yes. And the last one then was in the W7 Up in Smoke palette. And it was this shade here. Which is a white shade. And it's called All White. And the reason I had this was because for the category White Snake. And I actually used this to set everything. To, um, to set my primers and stuff because I don't really use a white shade all that often in my eyeshadows. If I'm going to use it in a corner highlight or a lighter shade, then I tend to use a champagne shade, and you can't really see the swatch there. Let me see if I can... And I said this was the last one, and I lied. It's not the last one. It's the penultimate one. There we go. You can kind of see it now. But it's a really, really nice shimmer, and I wish that I used white more often, because using it all over the lid to set everything was quite a nice look. So the last one is what I have on my eyes today and it was an unappealing shade and I went into the Stila, this is the Eyes of the Window palette and I used this shade here and I chose it not because it was unappealing because I thought the colour was ugly but it was unappealing because I didn't want to use a red shade and I'll be completely honest this is one of my favourite eye looks that I've ever done on my eyes so I would definitely be reaching for this again and that's kind of what I wanted to say in the conclusion about this project was that that's the whole point of this project is you find things that you don't like but you also find things that you do like or some things that you've never reached for before and you don't know how they're going to be and that's what I've loved about this project and I would definitely when or if it comes back off hiatus I will definitely, definitely 100% do this again because I have so much more eyeshadow. There's so much eyeshadow that you haven't seen from my collection yet. So it would be something that I would consider doing in the future. I hope you've enjoyed watching this series and thank you to Amanda and Jessica. I think it was Jessica's idea actually, which she first contacted me on Instagram before the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group was a thing. So she reached out to me and said that, did I want to be a part of this collaboration where we test out all of our eyeshadows and like do it as a roulette style? And I was like, yes, 100% sign me up. And I'd be like that again. I would 100% sign me up. So 
Let me know if it is something that you would like to see again if it does come off hiatus at some point in the year 2018. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.